Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One. Thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Glashuta Original Senator Navigator. You can see the stainless steel aviation style timepiece on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. You can also click on the card in the upper right hand corner of this screen at any time to see our full listing for this watch with extra photographs and details of pricing. There's also a link to our website, watchyouwant.com, in the description field below the video. Now, on the wrist, six and a third inches. 16 centimeters in circumference. This watch has a different look and feel than the historically related IWC Big Pilot. Now both of them pay tribute to the 1940s Luftwaffe b -er aviation watch, but whereas the IWC departs a little bit from the style and has a 46 millimeter case in comparison to the 44 of this watch here, the Glasuta Original Senator Navigator hues much more closely to the style, especially the dial layout of the original B Ur, and at 44 millimeters, it's remarkably more wearable across remarkably more wrists. Now my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters, wears this watch well. And that's because Glasuta does a good job of keeping the proportions sort of restrained. 44 millimeters across the round of the case, not including that huge crown. The watch is also reasonably slim considering the size of it. It's only 13.5 millimeters thick and with a double stepped dome style bezel, it easily slides under a long sleeve or dress cuff. Lug to lug, it's only 51 millimeters. So this is not an overbearing oversized timepiece. Compared to the immense 56, 57 millimeter lug to lug span of the IWC Big Pilot, you can already see how this is going to be more viable on a broader range of wrists. And I would say subjectively, if your wrist is as small as perhaps 14 and a half, 15 centimeters in circumference, you're going to be able to wear this watch pretty securely with a good sense of style and minimal lug overlap. And that's because the lugs, as you can see, curve down and essentially meet your wrist halfway. They follow the curve of your wrist. So if your wrist is smaller, they have the, they have the look of sort of falling away and blending down in a way with the strap rather than and jutting out strongly and overlapping your wrist the way the big pilot can from IWC. Now, the strap is a gorgeous piece. Again, a little bit more subtle, perhaps more delicately executed than the IWC equivalents. It's not immensely thick or stiff, but what it is is beautifully detailed. The contrasting stitch, which has a little bit of a patina quality to it, is gorgeous, and there's just enough of a pronounced center line to the calfskin on the top, which is a high gloss treatment to really pop in contrast to the stitched elements. Now it's folded on its side so it has a nice slim profile and there's a wonderfully supple calfskin on the back to match the calfskin on the top. It feels superb against the wrist. Now the pin buckle is actually quite ornate. You can see the inset Glasuta original logo, as well as an interesting combination of facets and curves. This is not a default design. Actual thought and art design effort went into creating the pin buckle, and that's always a great start when you're looking at a watch because it proves attention to detail was lavished. Now you can see the dial, as I mentioned earlier, is much more of a literal takeoff. Uh, relative to the original b -er. This is what the watch looked like, and although it is smaller in scale than its IWC brethren, this uh, circa 2008 design looks far more like its 1940s inspiration. It's also beautifully calibrated for easy reading with, as you can see, broadsword hands at center, beautifully blued. The hour track is inset and the minute track is actually external also serving as a seconds track. This watch is beautifully loomed, and this is one of those cases where I feel like a watch has a sufficiently special and unique luminescent presentation that I'm gonna attempt a loom shot right here in my light box. Give me a moment, I'm gonna charge this up and let her rip. Okay. As you can see, I was not kidding. This thing absolutely glows like a torch. Fully calibrated, you can even see the extended luminescent section of the seconds hand, making for perhaps the most legible seconds hand in all of high-end watchmaking. You can also see that the watch is almost blinding, and the arrow at 12 o'clock clearly indicates the top of the dial. Everything about the watch, from the immense luminescent impact to the thoughtful dots of the hour indices on the hour track at center, really set it apart from anything else in its class, including the IWC Big Pilot. This is a watch that you could, with practice, immediately recognize simply from a loom shot. And that's saying something, considering 
how unusual the piece is, you're going to remember this and you're probably going to recognize this watch if you ever see it loomed in the future. Now I'm coming back to you. So we return with the Glasuta Original Senator Navigator. You saw it in low light and no light. Now we're going to see it in a different light. As I turn it over and take a look at the in-house automatic winding caliber 100-09. Now it's a twin barrel setup, automatic winding and executed entirely in Glasuta. It features twin barrels for stability rather than an exceptionally huge power reserve. The power reserve is a robust 55 hours, but the point of the twin barrels is to have exceptional chronometric performance throughout that 55 hour span. Now the watch operates at a conventional but very modern 4 hertz so 28,800 vibrations per hour and has a gorgeous swan's neck regulator. It is very nicely finished but what should be noted is that it is a modern caliber designed for sports watch use. More aviator inspired than a all-around sports watch. 5 ATM water resistant so you don't want to take this one in the pool but you will want to note that should you ever use it for any kind of aviation backup capacity it has the most unique centering and hacking function I've ever seen. Properly speaking, it's not a hacking function because it does not stop the balance and it does not compromise chronometric precision of the watch. You'll note when I depress this button, I immediately zero the seconds hand. So I simply set the watch to the desired time, zero the seconds hand, and now I've synchronized precisely to a known accurate reference time, such as an atomic clock or known accurate quartz watch. This is a watch that has a lot to offer. And if you're into the pilot's genre, but you don't want one of the lookalikes on the market, if you don't want the pilot watch that everyone else has, Glasuta Original of Saxony has something that just might suit you. You can see it and you can buy it on our website, watchyouwant.com.